And Nicole, 20 points on the season, the same as the Whippy Warriors, but Whippy having played one more game, so this one would be very big in the standings as far as playoff positioning go. Warriors jump out to a lead here in this game, and a bit of a recurring theme to the number of early goals, and that would be they were scored from distance like this one here from Dyson Williams to open up at 1-0. And then Tanner Cook, this one a little bit closer, but the same result as he makes it a 2-0 game. Third goal coming right off the draw. One by Matthew Boissonneau. Heads up pass for Ryan Barnable, who beats Riley Hutchcraft uh, to make this a 3-0 lead. And then Williams dials up his second of the period. Pretty much the same spot as goal number one. Whitby with a four-goal lead at the end of the first. Not all bad news for Hutchcraft, though. He comes up here with a fantastic save on Devin Pfeiffer, getting across the crease to keep that one out. Warriors' Aiden Wallace off for five for Spearing. The Mountaineers try to stage a comeback. Alex Simmons converts to cut the lead to 4-2. to two. Mimico, still lots of time to go on the power play, but Whippy gives up just a single goal. Warriors actually had a five-on-three for a full two minutes. It did not score. However, moments after the teams are back to five aside, Cook scores the first of his two back-to-back -back goals. Mimico then score a pair. This one, the result of some terrific ball movement and a lightning quick trigger from Jonathan Donville at 6-4 Whitby. Things getting kind of tight with that just two-goal lead, but uh, Whitby restores it to a three-goal lead. Braden Hogg powers through this check and scores on Wiley Hutchcraft to make it a 7-4 game. Warriors held a four-goal lead in the first. Hold it again in the third as Tyler Eames pops his team's eighth of the evening. The Mountaineers would add one with an extra attacker later, but Whitby gets the W after a week off. And lots of time to think about what went wrong in a beatdown by the Arrows seven days prior. A loss that Dyson Williams says was maybe just what his team needed and reflects on what could have been a turning point when faced with killing that five-minute major. Obviously, we've won like seven games the last eight or nine whatever um, we haven't been losing much so that loss definitely uh, made us like wake up and see like hey maybe we aren't that good um, so that win tonight definitely uh, helped us because uh, coming after that long weekend even we haven't we haven't hit the floor in a while so uh, yeah, it was definitely a good feeling to get that win but uh, yeah great overall effort by the whole team you got credits to the defense and to Dauber uh, obviously playing a heck of a game and uh, they've done that all year, so uh, obviously five minutes is a dangerous penalty to give up. And uh, however, obviously only letting up one goal will take the, any day of the week. So uh, I think from there, there on out, the defense still stayed uh, solid, and uh, the offense just we just did our job, and that helped us uh, end up getting the win.